Well, the babies are coming right along, but uh, um, today I want to talk about my new uh, tank here. Um, I uh, pulled out all the uh, aquarium heaters that I had in here, and I put this in here. Um, this is done with a uh, heating element from a hot water heater. And uh, Bob from the Fiber Inspector channel here on YouTube lives on the other side of town from me. He helped me uh, build this uh, tank heater from my aquaponics system. system. Actually, uh, he built it. I just cut PVC, or I bought the, bought the parts, cut the PVC, and handed him tools. Uh, thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Um, I should have made a video of the process, but I didn't. It uh, went together pretty quick. Um, guess that happens when you know what you're doing. Bob's pretty good at this kind of stuff. But uh, we used a 4,500-watt um, 4, heating element in there, 240 volt. Got it wired 110, so that's about half the wattage, what, 2250? It uh, got a uh, Ranco uh, controller here to uh, monitor the temperature. You see it, at, I don't know if you get enough light on there, but it's reading 81 degrees and that's what I have it set at. Um, actually, I anticipate this using less electricity than uh, the other tank heaters because this is on for a few minutes and then it shuts off. Um, my uh, four aquarium heaters were 250 watts apiece and uh, they were running 24-7 just to keep the thing to 80. So I'll probably use a lot less electricity. Um, got a uh, link to um, Bob's channel on, on YouTube showing him uh, building one of these and uh, I've got the uh, parts, part numbers of the digital controller and the uh, heating element that I use in my uh, show notes. So um, any of you DIY guys out there, or DIY guys, um, should be able to figure out how to how to build one of these. Pretty easy. My fish are doing real good. They uh, seem to eat a lot better when the uh, when you keep the water temperature stable. And uh, as you can see, my basil is still going nuts. My oregano, my Swiss chard, my pepper plant, and my purple basil, my parsley, and uh, my spinach is coming right along. Uh, let me show you one other, one of my other systems here, real quick, that I'm kind of happy with. Even though it's not getting a lot of production out of it, but uh, you know, I'm running running this one off of guppies. I have tomatoes that are ripening up. Two of the three are already starting to turn red. So here in a uh, few days, I'll be eating tomatoes. And uh, my mint's doing well. And uh, let me show you my lettuce real quick. And my lettuce is coming right along. So I'm quite happy with every the way everything's going right now. And. Uh, <clears throat> Like I said, I'm um, real happy with the, the new heating element. Uh, temperatures got down to 41 degrees last night, and I come out here and check. Tank water was sitting at 81 degrees. Like I said, real happy with it. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, contact Bob over at the Fiber Channel and. Uh, I know he'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And uh, remember, people, life is good. Be safe.